Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ashley. Today I want to talk about some movement prep that we can do before we start hitting. I'm trying to make sure I can do it. <laughs> I want to, if I need a lighter band, I'll was, I was do the lighter one. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is the most cardio I've done in like weeks. I love this. Oh! <laughs> Um, Actually, you can do it again if you want. You want me to do it again? <laughs> you want me to do it again? <laughs> Hitting movement prep and stretches that we can do before we go into, um, wow, nope. One more time. One more time, one more time. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Let me know when you are ready. I'll do my best. All right, so what's, what's my intro supposed to be? Hey, everyone, this is Dr. Ashley. Today, I want to talk about some movement prep that we can do before we start hitting. Um, this is going to be specifically for our softball um, and also baseball players as well. So to start, I'm going to go with two stretches. There are obviously some more options, but these are the ones that I kind of thought up that would be best. So we're going to start with the triangle stretch. I picked this one because we're going to get some rotation, and we're also going to stretch our lower body and upper at the same time. So it's going to be important for a um, whole body movement like hitting. So then from there, our next one is going to be the greatest stretch. So really common. This one we're going to really lunge out. And then same thing with the other one, we're going to get some rotation in our upper body as well. So from here, arm goes down, and then rotate high to the ceiling. And then if you really want, you can drop that knee down. And then when you come back up to the front, you'll get a stretch in the front of the leg. So now that we've done, gone through our stretches, now we're going to get into the actual movement prep part. So we're going to start off with a little bit of trunk and hip dissociation, and that's just going to allow us to start warming up our hips and our torso for when we actually go into that hip motion. I'm going to use a dowel for this. On the field, you can obviously use your bat. But I'm just going to take this behind. I'm going to go with my torso first and just try to work away, keeping my hips and my feet stable. Once we got the upper body and our torso going, now we're going to move to the hips. This one tends to be a little bit harder, so just stay patient with it. So here, now chest is staying forward, but our hips are going to the direction that we're trying to rotate in. And you might notice with this, if you do it on both sides, it'll be a lot easier rotating to the one that you're naturally used to, and the other side may feel a little weird, but those are good ones to just start off with. And then from there, your hips are warmed up, ready to rotate and your trunk is also ready as well. So when you're batting, you'll be able to get full power on it. And then for the last one, once we've gone through our movement prep with the bat, now we're gonna add a little bit of resistance to it with the band. So we'll start just with the hips rotating out and then upper body follows. Now we're gonna reverse. There he is. Am I talking about hitting at all, or yeah, I'm just saying? About, okay. Today's, I'm Dr. Ash today. Uh, today we're going to be going over a great stretch on softball, baseball type athletes to rotate your upper body. And with the lower, you don't have to say the whole part again because we use the same first part. Okay. Just say the last part, which is going to be now we're going to do a nice little hip rotation stretch. Gotcha. Then, you know, stuff like that. You don't have to go oh. Again. Okay. We already did that. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Actually, you can do it again if you want. You want me to do it again? <laughs> you want me to you know, do it again? <laughs> i do it again. Yeah, now that I'm loosened up, I can actually uh, do a little bit more rotations and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm not touching my toes on some of them, but, you know. Ready. All right, guys, today, um, wow, you want me to say my name again? Because I'm continuing. Okay, all right. Start it as if we never did it. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Dr. Ashley. Today we're gonna to go over some warm-ups and movement prep uh, for base running. First, we're gonna start off in the forward direction and we're just gonna go with dribbles. Nice and easy, real quick. And then go into a jog from there. Now that we got our dribbles going into our jogs, we're gonna increase our heart rate and go with some A skips here. It's my cardio. All right. I got tired. <sighs> time out. Full time. Half court. All right. Oh. Yeah, this is bad. This is the most cardio I've done in like weeks. I love this. Actually, to warm up. We're going to do the day in the life of the and I'm going to use all of this stuff today. Oh my God. Guys, I lift. I don't do cardio. I am not a role model. <laughs> do not do what I do. Yeah. Exactly. So now that we've gone into our linear, linear, wow. Yeah. All right, this, this, is, this is bad. This is bad. 
This is bad. Cardio is not is not my thing. All right, no, 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 it's all right. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Hold two minutes out. All right. Direction. Now we're going to start going into a little bit of lateral. So we're going to combine the two and go with some crossover skips and some lateral skips. So now that we've worked in the linear direction or the forward direction, now we're gonna really focus on our lateral so that when we're already on base and we're trying to go and steal, or even just get ready to go to second and third, we're able to do those movements effectively, okay? Now we're gonna combine that with our jogs next. <laughs> we don't do this on turf, all right? It's on dirt. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm trying to help you guys. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for you. You want me to do that last one again, though? Yeah, yeah. All right. No, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I just have to be a little bit more stable, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We should have done that one last time. <laughs> Sorry, you picked it. I'll do we, it. We learn as we go. Learn as we go. I'm sorry. Uh, for this one, Hey guys, this is Dr. Ashley. Um, this one is specifically for your infield and outfield people uh, with softball and baseball. Today I'm gonna go over some movement prep and some stretch options for you to go through um, before you go onto the field, okay? All right. Look, you're getting, yo. I'm, 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 get, I'm, I'm getting into it, I'm getting into it, I'm getting into it. All right, so for this one, we're gonna go with the deep squat. For mobility purposes, we really wanna go down as far as we can. And for some people who have like ankle mobility limitations or even hip limitations, it's always nice to have something to stabilize you. So I like to use a rig. Um, if you're at the field, you can use a fence. For those of you who are a little bit more mobile, you can go without any assistance. And then once you're here, you're gonna go through a little rotation just so that when we're getting ground balls, you need to get down to the ground and we're able to do so. Next one, we're gonna take that squat and then now move it into a more single position. So we're gonna go into a deep lunge and really get down in there as much as we can and then walk our way over and shift to the outside. But for me, I'm a little tighter in this area, so I gotta lean down a little bit. So now we've gone through some stretches. Um, we're gonna go with a little bit more mobility. Oftentimes, we're not able to make a perfect throw while we're playing it, so I wanna get us used to being a little bit off-center for some of these. For me, I'm gonna use a, a rig for the squat rack. Really what we wanna do is stand on one leg and we wanna be able to open our hips and rotate out. If you lose a little balance, you can always bring yourself back. So with this, you can see if we're infield and we're trying to make a throw, this is gonna be the position that we're most likely gonna go into. So for this one, we're trying to simulate a hit and we have to turn and flip our hips and then retreat run to try to catch the ball. So we're gonna start here, flip. Let me get some practice reps here first. Oh, yeah. Whew. Told you, I gotta, get, I gotta practice. So for this last one, focusing on creating power and generating through our hips. That way when we go and we have to be quick to react to a ball that's being hit towards us, we're able to get there pretty fast. And we're really gonna drive off of this front foot and then basically push back here and then run forward. Like I said, we're really loading onto this hip, pushing, trying to be explosive and getting out. That was it. So we wanna close this off. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Video, and that's okay. Thank you guys so much for um, joining us and going through our softball prep. Hopefully it was valuable. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We have more coming on the way, so please stay tuned for that. And yeah, hopefully it was helpful and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Was that good or no? Okay, I was like, I don't know if that's what you asked for or not. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta do my actual job, you know, I gotta treat people. I took you for an hour, thank you. No, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs>